Hey everybody, it's Rachel Archelaus here. And um, I was talking to a client this morning and she was saying how she came into my world just about the time that it seemed like I was kind of blossoming and taking off professionally. And it's funny because I have always felt like I was blossoming and taking off. Because we all start our journey at you know a point where we're not sure of ourselves we don't really know what we're doing we're kind of making it up and even as we go along and we start to actually like make some money maybe it's a hobby at first and then we make a lot of money and then we're kind of like just building and building phase and a maintenance phase it always feels like you're making it up and growing and you're not sure of yourself because if you're doing it right you're using your business as a form of self-improvement, not improvement, but self-growth, self-exploration, trying new things, and breaking down your fears. And so it always kind of feels like you're doing new things and you're growing and you're not really sure what you're doing and you're kind of making it up. But I thought her um, observation was really cool. And so I decided to do a drawing of my evolution as a business person <laughs> and um, it's very telling it's very telling and it I think I understand more of what she means when she says that she found me right as I was blossoming so um, this is the kind of before and this is like the after this is the now and this is the you know the past few years so let's start with the before now, you'll see that, first of all, they're really different. There are fewer colors over here. There's more of a pattern, more colors over here. There's more layers over here. And there's big chunks over here. So this is kind of a pattern, and this is kind of just like color blocking. And the one thing that ties them all together is this blue strand. Now, I haven't done an intuitive drawing reading for you guys in a long time, so I'll go over my colors again for you so that you can understand. All right, so the blue, this dark blue especially, is all about healing. It's about deep cellular healing, like across lifetimes, the good stuff, the deep stuff. And to me, being in business is what is pushing me to heal and grow and evolve. So that's perfect. So it means that even when I wasn't so-called, you know, well-known, I was still doing that and that's been the constant thread throughout my different evolutions as a business owner. Now we'll start over here. This color to me is kind of goldenrod. It's yellow but it's not this bright clear yellow. It's kind of like brownish yellow. That to me is a color where it's like time sinking. It's I know how to be happy but I'm choosing not to be. It's like when you eat a brownie instead of a banana, even though you know the banana will ultimately make you feel better, right? It's like choosing that immediate satisfaction over long-term satisfaction. And of course we all do that, right? How much are we on Facebook all day when we know we could be like writing a guest post, which is actually what I was doing earlier. Um, you know, how often do we check out TV shows or movies when we really could use our time meditating or, you know, boosting up our vibration? So there's no judgment in that. It's just I used to spend a lot more time doing these things of choosing not to be really happy when I could have been doing that and when I knew how to do that. Next, though, is the green, this deep green here. It's about creativity. And what I was doing is I was being creative, right? I was making art, I was planning workshops, I was being myself, I was, you know, doing things that were really creative and nurturing to my soul. But again here, where this color is not over here, the orange is also not over here. And the orange is another big teller. Orange is mental color for me. And this meant I was thinking a lot. I was planning a lot. I was engaging in mental scenarios. What ifs? And oh my God, can I do this? Can I not do this? 
I was in here a lot. And that kind of wrapped itself around these other things and it kept out this big healing and this big creativity. So if you see the orange is kind of like a wrapper, that's what it was doing. It is connected to this pinkish red color, which for me is all about doing. It's about like inspired action. So there was some inspired action, but if you look at the difference between this and this, there's a lot more over here than there is over here, right? A lot more. And it's funny, I kind of blend in with this side now with my hair and my shirt. So that's pretty telling too. Um, and now, there, you know, of course, there was some action, but it was heavily planned, it was heavily strategized within this thought bubble, this mental activity. And there was some more creativity, and then again, there was a lot of healing going on. A lot of healing throughout this whole business career. And now, so it's not a bad picture. It's definitely a productive, healing, wonderful, creative picture. It's just that there was so much mental activity and so much, like, kind of time wasting, not being efficient, effective. So now, go over here, and now, what is the barrier to entry for this? For this, like, you know, joyous, inspired action creativeness? It's all this healing stuff. So. I had to literally heal all this crap before I could get to here. And what is that? It's like limiting beliefs. It is fear. It is stuff I didn't think I could do, which is a limiting belief. It's all these things I was afraid of, which is a fear. So limiting beliefs and fear, right? I don't know if I could do that. I can't do that. You know, I can't make that much money. I can't talk to her. Who am I to like go and invite myself in there? Oh, it sounds familiar. I know we all have this stuff in our heads, right? And little by little by little by little, I got through a lot of it, you know? I mean, now I'm speaking places and now I'm teaching classes that get sold out months in advance. And now I'm traveling and, you know, networking in LA, doing fun photo shoots. So, you know, can be done. You just got to do it at your own pace, step by step, and not be afraid of the fear because the fear is just telling you that you have a limiting belief there. It doesn't mean it's real. Sorry. Tangent. So back to this. So on the other side of overcoming all these fears and limitations is what? This is like the joy, the essence, the vibration of happiness, of abundance, of joy. So I am consciously being how I want to be, how I want to feel, what I want to have, I radiate, right? I, I put it all in my body and I live by the uh, mantra, it's not your circumstances that matter, it's your state of being that matters. And I got that from Bashar and I love that because it's so true. It's not your circumstances that matter. It's your state of being that matters and your state of being creates your circumstances. So if you can just shut off the outside world, if it's not, it's not what you like, create that vibration within you of what it is that you want to see, then you've got it, you're golden, okay? This inspired action, and see how this kind of like comes up? You wanna be what you want and then you'll get the inspired action that it will take to actually get it in your physical world. And then the top is creativity, which is, you know, <laughs> another color I'm wearing at the moment. Um, kind of what I love, you know, life is a creative thing and I love creating, obviously. So yeah, I mean, that's a complete wonderful alignment for me. This is working well for me as a business person. I'm, you know, I'm bringing clients and money and happiness and seeing great results with my clients and my wacky way of doing things. And I am loving it. I am absolutely loving what I do every day of it. Um, and I'm sure that there are even more ways that I can love it and reduce my goldenrod time. I'm sure I still have it somewhere. And yeah, I'm just, there's no end to this road. We always can grow and we can always um, get more of this joy vibration 
into us so that we can experience more of that in our outside world too. Well, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was illuminating and uh, I will draw again for you very soon. Lots of love guys. Bye bye.